Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Yeah, yeah, we back. Shoot your shot. Shoot your fucking shot, dickhead. Yeah, we got a very special, special, special guest with guest us this today. time, man. The biggest porn star in the game right now. Male porn star in the game. Absolutely. Yes, the biggest clown I know. Yes, <laughs> we got Gibby. Woo! Shout out Gibby, man. Yes, give sir. me the clown. Give me the clown, man. Woo, What's we up? Got a, we got an interesting one today, yeah, this man. Is different, like yo. This. We, had to, we had to switch it we up. We switching it up. We coming back off of quarantine looking, yeah, you know I man. We For coming sure. oh. We coming with a whole different vibe, but I like this. COVID's like it's right up my eyes. Sneaking back <laughs> Shout out, shout out to our Checkmate TV fam that's going to tune into this one. Y'all going to love this TV, one. Shout out to uh, Gibby's fans. Shout out to yes, Gibby. You know what I'm saying? Gibby gang. Shout out Gibby to y'all. Shout What's out up? to the circus. What's up, Gibby? What's up, Gibby? How you feeling, man? What's up, man? I'm feeling good today, man. How y'all feeling? Can I just tell you one thing? What's up? I don't think I ever heard you talk, so this is the first. This your first, first interview, right? My very first interview, man. Wow. He had to come on. He had to come on shoot your shot. You he feel had me? to come on shoot your shot. I gotta shoot my shot. I've been shooting a lot of shots. For so those of you who right. Don't, <laughs> right, and for those of you who don't know who Gibby is, look him up. Look him His up. Twitter. What, what's your Twitter? Follow me at Gibby the Clown on Twitter. Let's get it. For sure, man. He be doing the most. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Doing, oh, oh, you we, we cracking the seal already. Oh, yeah. Man. We got to take a shot to him talking in the first it. interview. In the I'm, first I'm, interview I'm stuck ever. on that. He ain't never you know talked. You know he ain't mean? never talked. He ain't never yet mean. <laughs> so, you know, he be, he just be fucking these bitches Ooh, out oh, here. Oh, you got to wait. Oh, Gib, Gib, Oh, Gib, I had to test the water. Oh, yeah, I had to test the water. water. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's all right. Okay, okay. It's all right. But <laughs> well, what we do around here, we toasting up every okay. shot and we get drunk together. This is okay. a family. You know what I mean? Yeah, so let's get up. it. Shoot your shot, let the music play. Shoot your shot to hey, Gibby. Let's go. Shoot it to Gibby. Woo! Yeah, that Peach Amsterdam. The Peach Amsterdam. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's going to turn into something. Woo! Uh, yeah, so Gibby, what's going on, bro? Like... I know this is your first interview. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you mm-hmm. you've been out here tagging a lot of a lot of stuff. Just, <laughs> a lot of stuff. Of and all I ages. love it. <laughs> and I love it. Of all ages. All right, so my first well, not all ages. So I'm all ages. It gets crazy in the circus, I heard. <laughs> well, 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 we're not we're not doing nah, none nah, of that. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, you know, it, it was some senior citizens. That's what I meant. <laughs> All right, so my first question is, okay. what made you put on the clown suit? All right, so, right, I was in Colorado. Colorado, absolutely. Shout out to Colorado. Colorado Springs, to be exact. Colorado. Met this girl on Tinder. Ooh. Got drunk with her one night, mm-hmm. and I had a Halloween costume, you know, just on deck. You know what I mean? I was like... Why not fuck this bitch in Halloween costume, bro? We all bored and shit. Oh, shit. Mm. Turn, the Turn, Turn the camera on. Turn the camera on. Turn the camera on. Turn the camera on. Fucked her. And I was like, yo, this is genius. <laughs> I was like, wow. yo. Everyone's scared of clowns. Right. But what if you change the narrative? Wow. Right. You know what I mean? And wow. and it's a lot of I think it's a, some clown fetish shit. Yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. it's definitely some weirdos loving that. Shit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and, and, yeah. and, and 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 if that's what you went to, I don't even think right. it's weird. Yeah, because right. you make me fuck with. I'm like, oh, I might right. need to put my my my. And what, what mask I need? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. That should be lit, bro. I'm like, yo, Appreciate I scroll it. through your. Yo, if y'all don't follow him on, on, on Twitter, follow him on Twitter at Gibby the Clown. That's so right. Is that is that mostly where people's uh finding you at and watching everything? Or you got yep. something somewhere else? Twitter is is basically like my main hub, because you know you can do all the wild shit on there. Right. You know, Instagram, they fucking hate me. They, yeah. de- they deleted me like right. ten times. Dude. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Absolutely. Check me out on Twitter. So I got my, my I guess that lead right into my second question. My okay. second question would be: what was the first scene that went crazy on the internet? The first scene is when I knocked the um 
the BBW off in the park, broad daylight on a, oh, on a drone. Legendary mm. on a drone. And that's let's, the thing. That's let's the take thing. a shot yeah. to the BBW yeah. on a drone. <laughs> <laughs> on the drone. <laughs> Yo, it was cra- it was crazy. If, if you guys Aerial. don't know, like Gibby be knocking them off outside. Outside, <laughs> yes, like you mean? gangster. Like yo, he the, be on the highway. The, the, he be in the park. The, 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 cir- <laughs> the circus don't happen inside. The circus happens outside. Everywhere. And I love it. And his, and, and his people around. He don't care. You never know. You mm. might be walking down the alley and see Gibby <laughs> knocking something. Gibby no, I ain't gonna t- hold you. <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? So let's shout out to Gibby getting the tills let's now. Go, you know what I mean? Shout out to I, Gibby. In, in, in the yeah, random so. alleyways, in the random courts. You know what I mean? Crazy. Yeah, I ain't sure. gonna lie. If I see Gibby out there, I'm gonna say, yo, I got next. Shout out to the BBW. I'm going to be driving by looking at every basketball court looking for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shoot your shot, Chuck. Shoot, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Mm. Woo! Yeah, get your, you get it. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh, you be, you be drinking a lot? Yeah, I be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> man, I be fucked up, dude. That's what we about to do on this show. Absolutely. So, let's get fucked that's up. That's what we do, man. So, so my next question is, uh, is there anybody... Um, as of right now, um, in, in the industry, out the industry, whatever the situation may be that you would like to work with. Yeah, Give me some my, goals. I had that uh, question, too. That's that, a good uh, question. That, like, you would like to work with or or give me, you know, somebody that's up Or your dream. Or your dream Or your girl. dream, girl. Oh, my dream, like, fucking? Yeah, like, like on cat, like, to do your thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, yo, Selena, Selena, go get, Selena Gomez. Oh, ooh. Ooh, oh. I don't care who you been with. Uh-huh. What people you claim? What? Oh. Come get this long clown dick, you heard? Woo! Hey! <laughs> I gotta shoot another clown! Hey! 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 Yo! Oh, shit! Yo, <laughs> Selena, you that need... That part. Yo, yo, yo. Again. <laughs> shout out to Selena Gomez getting the clown hey, dick. Hey, Selena, you heard it here first. Shout out, shout out to Give... Selena Gomez getting Justin? the clown dick. Justin? I'm sorry. Yeah. Nah, he not with her. Justin, at, well, Justin, Justin married what? now. Justin wasn't doing the right anyway. He wasn't he, doing the right. Nah, he was Shout out to Justin, though. We fuck with Justin. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. <laughs> Justin got the model now. Yo, shout out to Justin Bieber, man. Maybe take my poster. I danced to your song, man. Your people came for me. Damn. Damn. They came for Damn. me, man. They came for you? They came yeah, for that's me. That's them labels. Oh, that's them labels. That's the labels. Talk. And, and, you know, you know, Justin, get like he been real particular about his music lately. He, you know, he don't want shit. too much going on. Yeah, but man. shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, Selena shoot Gomez. Out. Okay. So Selena uh, Gomez, that's that. What about what about a porn star? Like like top of what the about list a porn, porn star? star, top of the list, and yeah. an up and coming porn star. That you um, like to work. I do want to fuck Tiana Trump in the ass. Shout mm. out to Tiana Trump. I actually got to meet her in Jersey recently. <laughs> yeah. Her and uh, Lena the Plug were at the same booth. And, uh-huh. um, they exactly. came in. They, uh, they came over and messed with us at a uh, Team Texas booth. And uh, we had a long conversation. And actually, Ooh. the question I asked her, I'm going to ask you in a second. But okay. uh, shout out to Tiana Trump and uh, Lena oh. the plug. She could get it. Absolutely. Yo, Adam, your bitch could get it too, you heard? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so so uh, what? Uh, the, the question is actually my next question too, and that's the perfect way to segue into it. Mm. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a loaded question, so try to answer it the best way you can. Okay. Um, what's the best platform to monetize your content? And what, uh, well, let's just start there. What's the best platform to monetize your content? Is it Pornhub? Is it OnlyFans? Is it, where do you think you could get the most money right now in, in, this, uh, in this climate of adult industry? I think due to like, you know, the popularity of it and, you know, all the celebrities hopping on the wave and people that has nothing to do with the, uh, the actual building of the platform, right. which is OnlyFans. Right, right. I'm not going to say it's the most, you know, beneficial thing. I, I believe it's one of the most lucrative things right now because people are so familiar with it. Right, right. But, you know, the wave I'm trying to be on, you know, wave I'm trying to get to, to a point where I can take my fan base and take it to my own landing site and start my wow. own thing, you know what I mean? Right. So it's just building steps. So, so you know? OnlyFans takes a cut, right? Yeah, yeah. They, t- they take 20%, 20%, I believe. It's yeah, 20%. That's, yeah, that's, you know I mean? that's but, tax. That's manager. Yeah. Um, My thing is, like, people are coming to the platform, you know, due to, you know, COVID. Right. Due to different right. things that's, like, 
Tory you know, Lanes. Yeah, but see, the that re- has nothing to do with that the actual building of the platform because the sex workers is what took only fans to the top. Absolutely, you know what I mean, yeah, so, and you could show whatever you want, and you yeah. could charge people. Right. Uh, you know, to look now, at. now let me give you a different perspective on OnlyFans. The thing I really love about OnlyFans is you don't have to be a sex worker. Yeah. If you major key, by the way, if you could figure out a way to not have to be a sex worker and mm. still make money, you mm. will kill the game. Yeah. And when you are. When you want to dive into that sex mm-hmm. working, you'll yeah. really kill the game. Um, right, right. Also, another positive thing I would say about OnlyFans is it gave the Instagram model a check, basically. Uh, yeah. Right. Or a way to monetize followers. A way to followers. get, a way to get it, 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 for um, sure. it. For sure. I know so many Instagram models. Uh, you know, I have an OnlyFans, too. And I, one, one Instagram model that I would like to fuck, even though she's a mess, is Selena Powell. So shout out to C- Selena Powell. Oh, she out uh, there. She <laughs> out there. <laughs> she but out I, there. But, so. but uh, she, she, she put me on to some dude named Jimmy Snacks. And shout oh. out to Jimmy Snacks, bro. He <laughs> got that shit lit, bro. Oh, my <laughs> God, dog. Yo. Mm. Oh, man, that's so, so special. So for those who don't know, is, is, Pete, is it like mostly fucking on OnlyFans or is it Girl well, showing it, their tits, like getting naked. You wanna, you know? Like what, what? What? What would your average model be well, doing? Well, see, on that? so, so this is what I'm trying to say. Mm. OnlyFans is literally a platform where you could post anything you want, yeah. but you, but, right. it, but you got to take the actual term that it's saying. It's saying OnlyFans. So it's what. It, so if you're a fucking fan of, it, like, let's just say you're a, a, a influencer about dog grooming, yeah. you can literally charge people for the videos and yeah. tutorials of dog grooming. Right, right. You understand so what I'm ba- saying? Yeah, so basically... It doesn't exactly have to be... Now, yeah. mind you, OnlyFans has a a, 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 a bad connotation. Uh, not a bad connotation, yeah. but a, 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 a connotation of being, uh, like, a, 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 a I guess, like a porn website right. or an adult yeah, for, website. For girls getting but, um, naked and stuff like that. Because people getting naked. actually, that's the easiest way to make money on it. Right, yeah. right, right. You understand yeah. what I'm But you could use it for something else. But you else, could use it for saying. so much different. Right. And yeah. I would advise every... Female that wants to monetize and has over five to ten thousand followers. Yeah, take your so, ba- so basically like a, a makeup fans. artist okay. could go on there and yeah. show her fans how she does makeup. Or or yeah. I, right. or a party promoter like myself could go mm-hmm. on there and say, "Yo, you right. can get in my party for free if you subscribe to my OnlyFans." Right, yeah. right, and show you what show them where the party's at tonight, and, yeah. and everything yeah. be on there. Right. So there's so many creative ways to use OnlyFans. Yo, check, I, check. I think you were trying to come up with something like this a few years ago. I I was, but Ooh. we're not going to talk about. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you. I think I you did. definitely were. I but, did. But, but uh, yeah. that's neither here nor there. Mm-hmm. OnlyFans is lit. Yeah. Now, uh, hold I'm on, not... hold on. What's Gibby? What's your OnlyFans? Shout it out. Oh, Let yeah. them know. Shout out your OnlyFans. OnlyFans.com backslash Gibby the Clown. And also, OnlyFans, this little message to you guys. Don't forget, you know, you know what helped build your platform. Absolutely. What, what helped made you popular. Mm. Popular, you know what I mean? Absolutely. All that, the, the, the sex workers and, the, you know, the influencers that actually started with you guys. You know what I mean, they actually built your platform up. Don't throw them no slack, man, because, you know. They hating a little bit, bro. You know what I mean? And I got, I, 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 I got another, I got another thing. I'm a, I'm a ping pong off of that. Okay. Let's, let's, uh, a message to Apple. Um, okay. So Apple will not allow OnlyFans to have an app on the App Store because they will not let anything that involves sexual content to have an app. Mm. But, uh... I'm trying to present the narrative that OnlyFans is not just about sex mm. and about the sex workers, even though there may be that on there, and uh, you can yeah. find it on any app at this point. Yeah. Um, so with that being said, Apple, you need to let OnlyFans have an app on your device, yeah. and that's simple mm. as that. Shoot your I, fucking shot. Let's dude. shoot your shot. Yeah. Yeah, Apple, Apple run a, run a tight ship, man. <laughs> Absolutely. No, no adult content on their on their app store. They run a type shit, but yeah. but it's the pub, it's a popular it's a popular shit. Yeah, they PG. And and, and, and and mind you, I don't mind it. Yeah. But an app like OnlyFans is so not not uh uh like dismissible. Like you cannot yeah. you cannot deny OnlyFans. If you got OnlyFans. Twitter, you can like, have OnlyFans. Yo, I swear to God, OnlyFans would have been blew up if they had an app. Yeah. If you didn't have to go to the website, even though the website feels like an app, shout out to OnlyFans for making it feel like an app. Yeah. Um. For the most part, um. It's and another thing. Shout out to OnlyFans for is them deposits come quick. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Crucial. Right. 
God. I mean, that's busting. what it's about. At I the do end of manual the deposit. I might do it Monday morning. Mm. I get it Tuesday morning. Mm. They said Shit. three to five days. I get it in 24 hours. Shout out to them. Shit, I'm about to make a music. I'm about to make a mix in OnlyFans. You can show, show people how to mix. Absolutely. Yeah, jump. Now we're using our head for creativity. <laughs> you know, we got to bring it back to the music a little bit. Absolutely. For everybody that's, for everybody that's watching that, that does music. Absolutely. If you're a rapper, jump. if you're a rapper and, and you don't want to put your shit on Spotify and all that, get your OnlyFans popping. Yeah. Yo, and I got an idea. For every rapper that uh gets the OnlyFans fifteen dollars a month, ten dollars a month, uh, you know, they get twenty percent off of their sessions. Boom. 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 Simple hey, as that. There you go. <laughs> Simple as that. There you that. go. I'm gonna have to create some shit. And then he's gonna be <laughs> and then he's gonna be throwing his music videos up there. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? His right. his tutorials and his right. ideas yeah, and stuff. Make it like happen. That. Show the way. Show the way. You'll fuck around and go viral off of that. <laughs> Let's take a shot to that, Joe. Uh, great idea. You'll shoot be the first your music shot. producer on OnlyFans. Right. And and it's always great to be the first on an upcoming thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Jum, you just thought of a great idea. I hope you implement that for sure. I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna Because once I show you these receipts on my OnlyFans, hey. it's gonna, you're gonna, you, you might want to well, get into that. Well, I got a big song that, that was recorded here that I was thinking about shooting a little mixing video for. You got a few. Yeah, a few, but there was one in particular. Okay. <laughs> Fear none. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm thinking about putting something together to teach you guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so, so. I have a, oh, now let's stick on the OnlyFans topic real quick. All so right. I have uh, two questions. I'm a, First, I'm going to start with this question, and then I'm going to get into the more detailed question. How are you finding, um, you know, let's just say counterparts, Ta talent, talent to <laughs> work with on OnlyFans? Because from oh, a yeah. guy perspective, see me, so... I'm literally, like, I, I, I use this platform literally to give y'all game. If it worked for me, I know it could work for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so me as a guy, I don't get on there and, you know, do the average guy shit. Mm -hmm. I, everything I do is always going to be on the creative side. Yeah. Um. So I'm, I guess all parties got to be willing. Like, is there have to be a... Well, hold on. I'm going to get to that. But, I'm, I, I, but I, well, all I'm trying to say is, like, let me let you answer the question. How do you find talent to work with you on OnlyFans? Do you reach out? For the yeah. guys out there, then we're going to get into the girls. For the male talents, I mean, it, it varies. I mean, because at the end of the day, the women do run this industry. Right. You know what I mean? No, so, that's what I'm saying. How do you find yeah. the women talent? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm getting to it. So the women do run this industry. So it's like, once you're at a certain level, I mean, if you take myself, the way I find talent is very 50-50. Right. Sometimes it's very 75-25. Whereas though, I'm at a point where the women, they reach out more than I reach out to them. And you popping, Gibby. Yeah. You Come pop on. So I'm, I'm getting it. to it, but it's more to it's, it's more 75, 25 with me. But when I started, when I was just trying to get a leg into the game, you know, I was reaching out 80-20. Right. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, As you should. Once you get to your, you know. And reaching out, yeah. you mean like Twitter reaching out or what do you mean Twitter by reaching out? Twitter reaching out, emails, you know, the, emails, whole, the, whole right, the whole nine. So do you find girls that are that want to be porn stars or do they just want to make mean, some money? The porn what? star thing is very, it's, it's kind of vague. I mean, now it's, it's more so it's, it's content creators. So you can have a girl that just shakes her ass and she's a content creator. But you got right. people that look at her right. like a porn star, but she's not really a porn star. Right. Right? I mean, so well, well, see, it changed. I, I'm you know starting mean? to realize now, and, 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 and this was bound to happen with technology getting mm. bigger and, um, you know, just like things like just evolving. But I'm mm. starting to realize that uh, porn star is a lot different from an adult entertainer. An adult entertainer is a lot different than, you know, uh, your influencer. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, You know, the influencer is always on there. You know, you'll see their bio on OnlyFans. Oh, you'll see what I do at the club. Or, mm. oh, you, I only you naked pictures or, or or bikini pictures. Or, like, yeah. that's what they'll be their so bio. So, Gibby, I introduced you as a porn star. Do you do you consider yourself to be a porn star? I, can, I, I just consider myself to be the best entertainer. You know what I mean? Best entertainer. Right. Entertainer, yeah. porn star, yeah. lit. All that. All of it, you know. But, what I mean? All of it. I but really... I feel as though you're the biggest male porn star am, in the game. I, I like, believe like it. you, I am, yeah. you the biggest since Ron Jeremy, dog. I can Let's say be say real. Absolutely. <laughs> and we're here, <laughs> and, 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 and this is what this podcast is about. We're here Straight to uh, celebrate, right? Um, our people. No, we're here to shoot, we're so, we're, yeah, shoot, shoot our shot. On. I don't got nothing in mind. Me either. Okay. So <laughs> I was, I was just, are we ready to do another one? We ready to do another but one? Yeah. But yeah, for sure, man. We here to put. You know what I'm saying? And 
And we're going to have the guests from music guests to, the, to Gibby. Like, we switch it up now. You we know switch it up. And, yeah, we yeah. come with a lot of different things. But I have a couple more questions about OnlyFans. And this is my yeah, last yeah, two. Yeah, let's elaborate. Um, and, 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 Want to and, shoot and, a shot then, first? Yeah, let's shoot our shot let's first. Right. And this is where I wanted to get into my gold mine. Um, basically, yeah. where I really wanted to go with this. Okay. Now, the number one <coughs> problem on OnlyFans for the regular person mm. is marketing. And hold on. Right. Guys, we've talked about marketing with music. Mm. Boom. We've talked about back. marketing with videos. Right. How come... Actually, before I get to that, how do you market your OnlyFans? I mean, I'm more so... I take the viral approach. Yeah, so you... you, you, see, you got, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Smart I, man. I the viral Yo, approach. we've been telling them that. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? But hold on. But but, he I, found I, but, but see, see, I Oh, that's he, a nice hat, by the way. That's marketing one on one right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. My guy asked to wear that. Hey. You hear me? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> sounds, man. She just shot. Absolutely. Hey. Yeah. But yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> but so he's a little different. And people <laughs> with an audience, and we go back to the beginning, <laughs> people with an audience already are going to kill the game instantly because they have an audience. So they have yeah. a marketing, they have right. target. Once again, let's go back to keywords of marketing. They have targeted leads already. So mm. he's viral for doing his thing already. So he has targeted leads that he can market his OnlyFans to. Now, yeah. what about the girl or guy that doesn't have the targeted leads? Well, let They're, me... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hear me I out. got you. I got you. Uh, can I just say Stop one real- thing before you do that? I think everybody doesn't need to put a clown hat on, yeah. but they need to figure out a way what? to get that viral. I got you. I got you. Yeah. No, not- Stop worrying about, you know, how fat your ass is, how big your titties is, how big your dick is. Show your personality. Mm. That's how you market. It's a million girls with a That's fat a ass. That's a major key. It's a million That's girls how with I do ass. mine. And, I, and you know, you in a camera, you didn't fuck a million girls with a fat ass. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. The girl in the camera. You didn't see mad niggas with big dicks. Mm. Absolutely. Show me your personality. Let me, let me feel like I know you. You know who Absolutely. did that perfectly? Who? Tory Lanez. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. His his whole quarantine go. radio, he just showed you who he who he was, kind of. I, I, I like what we went with likes. that. Because that was a major key. But mm-hmm. I have another major big, key. Big big key. Okay. Because yeah. so here's the thing. Okay. So I follow and I try to show love to a Everybody that I can that has an OnlyFans and a premium snap. Um, once again, I'm going to start with your point. A mm. lot of girls that have premium Snapchats and, you know, are trying to market mm. you to your OnlyFans, they never even talk. Yep. Matter of fact, I don't think I've ever heard a girl that was marketing their OnlyFans say, yo, go to my OnlyFans. It's just like a picture of, like, their titties blurred out and it says swipe up. Right. Yeah. That's not lit. <laughs> I'm they, not swiping they, up. They, they I'm trying to be low key. They trying I'm, to be low key. You, with it. See, and hold on. And I'm glad you said that because that's going to alley me to my next point. First things mm. first, I got three points here. So th- this is my second one. First things first, if you're going to do OnlyFans and you want to be an adult side of OnlyFans, then we're not worried about what, what turtle that you used to know thinks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're not worried about the high school weirdo, the high school biscuit head. That knew you. No, we're not worried about none of them. We going for it. You going for a goal. Everybody too cool yeah. for school. We not too cool and for they want, school. And they want all the attention. We 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 too we but, we we, we cool enough when we got the yeah. bag. Right, but they don't got the bag. That's the problem. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So, so now my everybody number, think like not, that. My, now my number three thing, and this is what I wanted to say because mm. I found a lot of success in this on my own behalf. Is I don't see a lot of people marketing and putting ad dollars behind the OnlyFans. Mm. And that's a major do, do, key. Do the, do the social platforms allow you to do that? I've been doing it and killing it. Mm. See, that's mm. the thing. Boom. Major key, check. Major key. Major mm-hmm. key, check. Why, had- would, why wouldn't you? That's Why your website. Would not? That's your That's website. That's your website. That's your fucking website. <laughs> That's your web. Yo, mm-hmm. I, there's eyelash girls putting hundreds and hundreds of dollars with the, behind their marketing joint to 
to get to their landing page. Yeah. Mm. Get to my landing yeah. page. So what I do, I'm going to give it to y'all. I don't care. I take the girl that I'm about to do a takeover with, make her do a swipe up video, and then I put $100 behind the marketing. Mm. Boom. Mm. Then See, I go on yeah. Instagram, I, I make them have Yo, clothes on. We got to run that back. Yeah. That's, that's a fucking rewind. Check giving out motherfucking game. Because Major can, key. This can apply to like not only what he's doing. It can apply to like anything. Yeah, anything. I've been telling y'all to do this with yeah. music. Yeah. I'm top Real 7% shit. on OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. And I don't. Wait, say that again, Chad. I'm top 7% on OnlyFans as a Boom. male. Boom. Let's, mm -hmm. let's start that. Boom. And I'm, I, you know, I'm. You know, real plain Jane with mine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's real simple. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I got good content. Don't get that twisted. But the people that get there, they don't even know what they see. It all they see is the girl. See, and another thing, when you're tar, it's, once again we're going back to the word targeting leads. So mm, right. when I deal with a girl, I know where she lives. Mm. So if I mm. market within that 30 mile radius, who she know? Yeah, to who she they know? They try to see her. They want to see her. Yeah. Uh huh. So I spend my fifty dollars to reach thirty thousand people to fucking that she knows. I know a thousand or five thousand of those thirty thousand are going to know her. Yeah, you're hitting markets, and you're I'm hitting. hitting the, yeah. I know where the target leads are, bro. That's real smart, for that's bro. Dope. That's dope. I like that. And, and, and no one's spending marketing dollars on your OnlyFans. Yeah. And this is the thing that is a gem, and I'm trying to give it to any girl that, you know, the crazy part is, like you said, I, I don't hit girls up for all of it. I, 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 didn't, I never hit girls up. I, I was already popping on Snapchat, so I didn't hit girls up on none of this. But girls hit me up. All I got to do, like, because some of these girls, like, shout out to my homie Often L. She's, like, top 1%. Mm. But mm. she only going to fuck people on, on, on that's, that's top 10%. At yeah. the bare minimum. I get it. So you understand what I'm saying? So yeah. now I can say, yo, I'm top five, seven. Mm -hmm. I vary month to month. But at the end of the day, I'm around that area. I hear mm -hmm. my screenshot. Here's my video. What you want to do? You know what I'm saying? So once you get there, because you know what I'm saying? It don't matter how you get there. You can start working. You, you know, you can start working the money. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You got to put mm -hmm. any product, any content, anything you want to sell, you got to put the money behind it. That's yeah. the same thing. We've been telling them to check. We've been, been telling y'all about, 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 about this about the music. I've been telling y'all about this about the videos. Another thing, you know, I gotta go back to my man Six Nine. They, they just had a fucking whole article broken down about this. He broke the record for views in a day because he spent all this money on mm. promotion. And YouTube had to come out and write an article saying that this isn't gonna count towards. Breaking the record because he spun so much marketing he did dollars. Did his thing though. Yeah. He did his thing. I can yeah. respect that because yeah. see, that's the thing. And another thing, and, but, I wanna... but I but it, what's fucked up about that is YouTube's corny as shit for that because I know these fucking big labels are doing no, the but same the, but shit. no, but the crazy part is the good part about it is they counted it as organic views. Mm. So meaning he can still monetize off it, right. but yeah. it won't that's count a, as that's money. All that so yeah. so every video that you see. Before the actual video that you're trying to watch, they're making their seven point point zero zero yeah, seven absolutely. cents on that, that, that video. That advertisement. Yeah. That advertisement video that you gotta watch for seven seconds yeah. before you can skip before ads. You can skip it, yeah. Or the one you gotta watch for twelve seconds before you can even do anything. Yeah. Mm. They're getting their monetization view off you. Yeah, hell yeah. So basically, they put their 200 bucks in or 1,000 bucks in, however big the, the scale and is. And YouTube's getting it. And, and YouTube's getting that. Yeah. And then they're giving it back to you on the monetization dollars. Yeah. Mm. And once again, I'm only telling y'all this because I want y'all to shoot your fucking shot hey. in anything that you have. Oh, that was Any great. goal, that any was great. dream, any aspect. Great. Please shoot your fucking shoot your, shot. That's why we All here, I yo. do every day that's is dream. All here, I baby. do is come up with ideas. All I'm telling y'all, I don't see no girl. All I see is girls hit me up for shout outs on OnlyFans. Not, not Matter that of fact, shit. take your little bean that you made on OnlyFans and spin <laughs> that <laughs> on marketing your OnlyFans. You'll reach 30,000 people <laughs> and fucking 20 of those 30,000 people will buy your shit. That, that's some bird bird. That's, that's a good idea. Shit though. I like yeah, that. that's dude. That's major game. key. If you Major. ain't hear that shit, run it the fuck back and and run and, it back and do it, man. I, yo, I, I swear to God, when I see he was coming, I just wanted. I, I was thanking God. 
<laughs> because I just wanted to tell you that so bad. Because uh, so many people hit me up like, damn, how are you top 7%? When I... Naturally, I was top 20. You were hustling, though. Yeah. Like, hustling. At the end of the day, you're hustling. Bro, you can go on Instagram right now. I got an ad running for 200 bucks, $50 a day. <laughs> for OnlyFans, you'll see Rachel on... And if you're in a 30-mile <laughs> radius of fucking Warminster, PA, you're going to see Rachel <laughs> saying, yo, swipe up. This shout, is a fact. Shout out to Rachel. <laughs> shout out to Rachel. I love her yo, for letting me do it. Yeah, Yo, that's so lit, man. That's, that's so real lit. fucking that's rap. But that's check, lit. you know what's the best about that? Though? And, and uh, every one of her friends are like, damn, I want to see what she's going to do. But <laughs> check, you know what's the best thing about that? Is that like proves our point to why we started this podcast. Mm. Because you literally just broke it the fuck down on some shit that was like outside the box. Outside mm. the box. Marketing on some new technology shit and you fucking and you're figuring it out and and it's no reason why you can't do it neither right I'm not anybody. see I ain't making music so if I was making music right. I'd be doing it on music. on music but I'm doing it on fucking on, OnlyFans on anything. and I'm showing you it can work if it can you, work I don't give a fuck if, you if you're sell, selling if you resell shoes you could do it you can like, do it on whatever, anything whatever bro like if you then, hold on, hold on. but let me go to the second half of that so so the top influencers are scared to use marketing dollars because they don't want their marketing dollars to get deleted because of the risky content. See, right, once again, right. you got to find... Uh, let, let me just get up. Let me break it down even a little further. You got to find a medium that's sexy enough that make people engage, but... Classy enough to let Instagram and that's promote it. Way easier said than done. That's way easy. That's to you know, basically no. have clothes on, be sexy, and say, "Yo, no. swipe up." No, yeah. what, I, what I meant to say was that that's way easier to do. Like it's real yeah. easy to do. That. It's easy to do. Mm. Yeah, but I will say the conversion ratio will be way higher if I can have a girl with her tits out, of or yeah, you know what I'm saying. But you could though. But hold on, you could do it. I ain't never did it on Twitter, mm. but I'm sure you could do it on Twitter. Uh, yeah, why yeah. not? Why can't, can't I, yo? I, yo, I could go to Twitter right now. It says uh, uh, promote post or view engagement. I go to the bottom and it says, uh, "Damn, reach a bigger audience." Yeah. And then put my credit card Same in. Shit. And I say, "Oh, I want to reach ten thousand people." Okay, Same one percent man. rule. I taught y'all this ten podcasts ago. One per <laughs> one, one, one. No real shit. Nah, real yeah. shit. No, I no, swear no. to God, mm. well, no, uh, marketing. I'm like marketing is my thing. Marketing one on one is one percent of the audience you show. Whatever you show them to, will buy. Yeah. Okay. So you want to make your audience big enough so your one percent can support you in life. Exactly. Mm. Now, mm. if you need to reach fucking five hundred thousand people so your one percent could be fucking five thousand, mm. then you gotta you 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 get there. And you're not working no more. Right. You're doing your fucking. You doing what you want to do, so or whatever. That's my own, major key business. of the day. Yo, shout out to Checkmate. That's lit. That's lit. He just broke it down for you guys. I, so, <laughs> I, like, I had I, to. It's no excuses. <laughs> you know, there's no excuses in life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Gibby's sitting over here, masterminding in his head. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm soaking it in. But, 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 but if you and, can take Gibby's, some from and, and was crazy. Gibby's bull already, though. He's bull already. You know and if he saying? can soak it in, y'all, y'all average girls that are sending me fucking videos like swipe up on my titties, y'all better be soaking it in. Real rap. And, Gib Gibby, do you do you do any like marketing or not? You don't I mean, need to. At this point, I kind of got my lane. Yeah, and it's it's works for me. Right. Yeah, I mean, every you know, it's a million ways to skin a cow. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Right. So everyone has their own way. So. What yeah, I feel right. is that I, you don't got to give away yeah, no secrets. What I always feel as though works is just personality. But please anything. do if you feel like you. Yeah, can. if you like if you need it, you know what I mean. Or if you if you if you feel as though that could be beneficial, or if you're looking for a way to grow and you haven't tried it, try it. Because what he said is that's some real shit, bro. Real rap. You know what I mean? So, and it goes for everything. Yeah, it goes for everything. It's not even Beyond porn, porn yeah. or yo. Or Instagram will literally porn. allow Beyond you to porn. swipe up. To yo, I yo, I will literally post a mm. screenshot of this video. They yeah. will literally allow you to say, have a girl and say, yo, I'm about to take over Checkmate TV's OnlyFans, swipe up, and then the swipe up link is directly to and my OnlyFans. Let that John go. That's crazy. That's yo, lit. let me let me That's give you lit. another example. If you're a girl, you can literally make a video of you in a bikini about to take your top off and then it blacks out. Yeah, but it gotta it, it's it's like Instagram's tricky. Right. But like you don't even gotta do it. You could just go. 
Yeah. yeah, you could just be sexy. Right. It's the kids but, but, just but being you, sexy. You were about to do it, but yeah. you weren't about to do it. Right. Type yeah. shit. But if you're you know going to do it through Instagram, I'm just going to give y'all another they, they, major they key. They will filter it. They will. It, yeah. it, it, major key is it got to be borderline. Yeah. You want it sexy enough that you'll get conversion rate, mm. but you want it but clean I, enough but, that but, it'll but, slip but through But on some real shit, though, I see nipples on Instagram all day, bro, through the shirt. No, or, I don't know. Or a see through type no, 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 situation. No, but it's different when yeah. a, a, a when you're uh, running an ad. It's way different. Right, you're right, sitting. Right. You're saying yeah. your principal no, look no, at me being bad. Because they gotta look at it first. Yeah, you're saying principal it. look at me being bad. Right, right, right. For sure. Please, and then tell me I'm a dean's list on the announced yeah. speech. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, that's literally what you're saying. <laughs> nah, you're right because they denied my shit before, and then I mm. appealed it. And they and they put it through. See, I don't never appeal. I just put another one through with a little different. The only reason I appealed it because it was my music, and they denied it because of the music. It no, they like, do that all day. It, it was It was my own shit. I'm, I'm like, too, I'm uh, like, oh well, then I would have yeah. made the point too. Yeah, yeah. Just so, so they know from you're here. You're not on gonna out. tell me it's not mine. It's fucking yeah. mine. Because yo, I will shout out to Instagram. Somebody's really looking at them. Yo, shit that's they gotta through. be because when I appealed it, they like, oh, they were like, bet they push it through. Right. So it, it works, but. Yeah, shout out to Instagram, man. Shout out to Instagram. Shout out to Instagram. They changed the life. Yeah, yeah. Life, man. I've been telling people Instagram was the was the biggest thing for years. Yeah, yeah. And, right, and, right. and Jumbo was telling me I was I was on my Snapchat wave heavy. Oh yeah. yeah. Like I, Twitter that, was big too. Twitter I, still yo, is I, big. I, yo, big I'm still a yeah. snap. My my favorite yeah. app is definitely Snap's Snapchat. cool because Snapchat? it's not because it's not a public display. The reason forever. why I like Snapchat and um, I'm part of the, like that. 8% on Snapchat that are uh, like, you know, I'm making content every day. And it's disappearing. I don't care. So I kind of like I'm more free and that, with it. that's what I mean. Like, that's um, I don't care what it looks Snap. like. I don't care what I, you know, I'm literally just making the content mm. of like, yo, what's up, Snapchat? Anybody that follows me know that's my slogan. Yeah. What's up, Snapchat? You know what I'm saying? I'm here at work today or I'm, mm. you know, here or I'm with... I'm with Gibby, or you know what I'm saying? I'm with Jumbo. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's just how I carry it. Content, yeah. though. It's it's content, 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 content. There, content, it's consistent. Content, content. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's consistent. So, Yo, we got to shoot a shot, man. Yeah, I am so. Oh, we got yeah, a we shot. Yeah, we good. We ready to go. Out. That's what I'm saying. Out. We got we ready. See, we was right. getting into some good-ass conversation. Yo, Thanks. good points, bro. Shoot Thanks. a shot to that. Gibby having trouble over here. Yo, is that mask uh, COVID? COVID uh, proof? Proof? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yo, it probably is real shit though. I was outside though, and all that shit was going. I was still outside. Woo! He was knocking them down. Yeah, Shout out to me. I've been outside too. I'm an essential <laughs> worker. I deliver beer. I'm uh, a fucking uh, outside. That shit ain't stopping nobody, man. I'm Negative. inside, but okay. the outside come inside. <laughs> yeah, no so, bullshit. Yeah, so you can't. You can never. You can never. Man. It ain't. It ain't no stopping it. Yeah. All man. right, so we gonna switch lanes. All right. Let's switch lanes. All right, so we, we, we already talked about the adult industry. Mm -hmm. Now let's get back to our roots. Okay. All right. First things first, I got to ask you. Mm. We're in Philly. Favorite Philly rapper. Of mm -hmm. all time? Oh, can, well, I get well, can I get three? Can I get three? Yeah, absolutely. Can I get three? All right. Cassidy? My guy. Ooh. That's what, be, oh, I'm going to stop you there. Anybody that knows me, knows that Cassidy is my favorite Philly rapper of all time. Mm. I know every Cassidy line from like 2002. Like, I'm talking about every line. Yo, tell, like me, yo tell me why I was a young boy up here yesterday spit a Cassidy bar mm. from back. Oh, I thought he was spitting that new Cassidy no, and K. Walker he was that's like, on the radio. You know, you know the Shout out to K. Walker. You know the John when he was like, uh, I don't want to offend my white friends or my white fans or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yo, he was spitting. I was like, he said, I, I, he said, I'll be in my white man band and keep two Ks like the white or keep three Ks like the white man clan. Uh, yo, I, oh, I, bro, yo, I know bro. every Cassidy bar. I was like, damn, you know that o shit, dog? You young as shit. To like, oh, wait. <laughs> every Cassidy bar. Ca Thanks. Shout out to Cassidy, man. Shout, shout out to Cassidy, Cassidy, man. Cassidy when, we, when, we, when I was in my 20s, mm. Fuck like early twenty. When I was in my fucking seventeen, yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> and like in sixteen, like his first album type. Yeah, yeah you're oh, right man. because I was in I was in tenth grade when his first album dropped, and that shit Absolutely. was fire. Like I that met Jumbo on the Cassidy oh. bar, so don't yes. let's not get this twisted. Well, we went over that. We yeah. went over that. Cassidy though, give me that's what's up. Okay. I, I like that. I like, I like that. that. So who else you got, bro? 
I, I, of course, Meek. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Of course, that's a, that's a, that's a course. Yeah. I fuck with Kurt, too. I, Core? I love Core. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so is that your, is Core on your favorite of all times? I mean, I like him a lot. I listen to him a lot. All right, so much cool. I, nah, I won't say my, my favorite of all time, but I listen to him just as much as I listen to Meek. Okay. I mean, so it's like, that's he, pretty good. He talks okay. some real shit to me. He talks some real shit to me. You know what I mean? But as far as Cassidy, let's go back to Cassidy real quick. How you feel about him as a battle rapper, though, as far as the, the URL TV? You watch this battle versus Arsenal Goods? Let me know. Absolutely, bro. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Don't, get Don't get me started. Let me know. Don't get me started. I got a whole <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> theory on this. Uh, let me know. I All right, know. so 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 first things first. I don't want Cassie to ever battle on a big stage. I want him to be able to talk like his personality yeah, is. Yeah. We did do. I want we did go over this too room yeah. before yeah. battles. That's what he for. Cassidy yeah. should only. Do, I don't want Cassie yelling, getting out of character, and looking dumb. I don't want any mm -hmm. battle to be like that though, because I like, want small nah, some, rooms. The booing is in the way. Some yeah. people look for it though. Some people could do it. Like, it's like for example, yeah. Reed Dollars, Sean versus what I think is the best battle rapper, Sue Surf, in a small room. Because they're bringing back to the S's. He about to get smoked, though. He already, he already battled. They already battled. No, he about to get smoked. By Le oh, they battled today? No, they, no, they battled. Lux, Lux and Surf, right? No, I'm talking about Reed Dollars and Oh. Surf. That was like Even though they four said, months ago. I think Reed got him, though, 2-1. You think Reed got him? Mm. Shout think, out to Reed. I think Reed might have got him. Go ahead, Gibby. I think Reed well, might have got him. Well, that goes back to my point. Yeah. Reed shined in a small room. Would have been better, I feel like. No, he, he did great in a small room, and it would have been worse if it was in a big arena where they got the crowd of 20, And, and Sue got 10, his fans in there. Or... Sue Who got his fans. Against Sean? But he, no, no, I'm talking about Sue Surf. So okay, Sue Surf and Reed battled, yeah. right? So this was in a small room. It was like in somebody's garage. Yeah, I seen it. But it was great. It was amazing. Yeah. Reed came back with his shit. I'm not going to lie. I think Sue Surf won. I think Sue Surf Reed was the best Reed first battle. was shaky, but it's his last two first, was crazy. His, his last, last one was definitely third crazy. crazy. Third was his crazy. Third was crazy. Yeah, I said that. But uh, yeah. Sue Surf is just so polished. So I don't, it's, it's, it's like, it's just that's like. Dope. That's dope. I love, that's love whatever. Surf, surf just I lost surf. a lot of battles, man. He lost a lot of like important yeah, shit. Though. Yeah, no bullshit. So. Surf, so, what, but surf did? Yeah, he lost a lot of important shit. Surf is so polished. So who, who's the most popping battle rapper right now? Like, surf. But like he's the best. He, he's like he's 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 one of the best because he's he transitioned to rap. Like his rapping is just his as battle rapping. Good. So, I so, do so, so, but but there's Shout no, the surf for but there's no Floyd. Oh there's God. no Floyd in battle rap. No one's undefeated. Well, it was it, it used to be Murder Mook, but Murder Mook. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, debatable. Man. He's like debatable. Right. Yeah, debatable. Now. There's, there's like a lot of he's like. He's like Solomon. debatable there's king no, now. There, there's His no TBA. Solomon battle was. Somebody need to come be the TBA man. But he, he fucked up Lux, though. He fucked up Lux that second time. He Absolutely. fucked that nigga up. Okay. But somebody need to be Floyd, though. Like, it's no it's hard to be though. Floyd in battle rap, yeah. especially when you're my man mm. and you're watching a battle. Right. Yeah. True. You understand what I'm but saying? But Floyd's man. So I'm going to say you won regardless. Fight. Like, for example, I'm going to give y'all just a local battle. Okay. K Walker versus Pusha Feek. Okay. They both did great. K Walker did better than I expected. Mm. But I mean not K Walker. Pusha Feek did better than I expected. But K Walker's on the top of the game right now. It's K Walker and Kaboom in Philly right now. I'm not even going to hold no punches. Hey, Kaboom, heavy, bro. When it comes when it comes to battle rap and, and the Battle Academy, I'm not only talking Battle Academy. Okay. I got I got different rappers for different things. Okay. But but we're talking Battle that's Academy. Stiz. That's Stiz. Stiz. Shout yeah. out to Stiz. Shout out to Stiz. Um, as far as Battle Academy goes, it's K Walker and Kaboom. It's that it's this day show. Um, and Pusha Feek mm. stepped in the, in, the, in the ring with K Walker, and uh, I heard someone on the live say it was 2 1. Me personally, I think it was 3 0 K Walker, and mm. I think K Walker took a light on him because they were friends. But um, it still was so, it's so different to see a polished rapper versus an unpolished rapper in the battle world. Um, but I say that to say, it's just crazy all the way around the board watching battles now. Yeah. Um, because there will never be a Floyd, I feel like. Yeah. Um, you know. There's no judge battles. Yeah. It's all up to perspective. I it's feel like there should there yeah. should be a judge, though, I feel like at this point. No, nah, I don't think there should be. Nah, it kills Because I watched a lot of battle judge shows where I don't remember the battle 
Uh, I don't yeah. remember the show that was. Uh, I guess it, it would be hard. I guess it like, would be hard. Worst the five nine. Yeah. 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 Somebody total slaughter. Because huh? it's not total like they're slaughter? throwing a punch. Yeah, I guess total it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Total slaughter. Yeah, they yeah. They can't judge it like correctly. Like it's a like box somebody. But it was nutty because uh, uh, I think it was Arsenal. He was on there, mm. and he clearly killed this bull, and mm. they gave it to the bull. Like it was like to, I, I'm, and yeah, it can't be that. I don't that. like that. Yeah, like yeah. I don't. I don't want three people to be able to decide the fate of That's true. the That's battle true. or yeah. act like it's yeah. like like their opinion is right. void when they got personal agendas. I would yeah. just love to see it, like somebody that. Well, they say Bill collected the King of Philly, man. No, whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> That's what they say. That's, that's what he jacking though. He ignores Norris Town. That's what he How jacking How the king though? of Philly when he from Norris Town? He told NH come outside. Sh- shout out to uh, shout out <laughs> to K Walker, man. K Walker Demol. No, hold on, but I- Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with you, Bill. <laughs> you funny. You cool. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You're not my type of rapper. I'm going to just be straight up and honest with you. He's funny as hell. But you funny. You cool. <laughs> All that good shit is gravy. <laughs> Do I think you're better than Kaboom? Negative. Never. Do I think you're better than K. Walker? Negative. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you better? get the names. Yeah. Because Kaboom, I mean, uh, uh, fucking Bill is like the... Maybe my man's doing some marketing, But is man. he a better battle rapper than these guys? May no. not be a better rapper. No, he's not a better battle rapper than Kaboom. To me. Yeah. Especially Kaboom. But if you put him on the K. Stage, Walker's debatable. K. Walker lyrics. already killed him, but it's still debatable on a day-to-day basis. Yeah, on a day-to-day basis. Because yeah. cause, cause, uh, Bill just fucked up Frankie with the grippers. In the hall. I don't even want to say I'm that. I'm glad you admitted it, though. No, Man, Frankie I Frankie got body by him, though. No, 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 no. Frankie was killing it. Hold on, hold on. But when Bi- Shout out to Johnny Mac. Let's start with Johnny yeah. Mac. Shout out to Johnny. Because Johnny Mac, we're going to get you on this podcast, okay? Mm. Um, And uh, I'm going to get into that when we get there. But uh, Johnny Mac had me thinking fucking Bill demolished Frankie. It wasn't a demolish. I mean... Yeah. First of all, it's one off. Yeah. So it was like, whatever. And uh Frank had some bars and, he was and Bill was just like Bill. So it was just <laughs> like, like, okay, was, Bill's yeah. more polished. He's been battling more. So yeah, okay, I'll give him the win, but yeah. barely, if I if I say that. But uh, uh, I don't know about I mean I You think it was last line? I wanna call it an edge, but it was a good a clean win. I feel okay. as though Frankie could have, you know, he could have went a little longer because he had them. He had niggas like they had niggas hype, but he just had a new. But I feel like Frankie wasn't prepared for the battle all the way around the board. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. scheduled three days later and yeah. took a lot of politics behind it, and he just was taking a battle to get a bag. I feel yeah. like that's still uh, that no excuse been a, though. It's, it's never an excuse, but that happens often, yeah. especially with unseasoned battle rappers. Yeah. And um, Bill Collector been battling every fucking three months. Is every fucking yeah. battle, uh, every fucking rapper saying? But NH, you're complete right. Bill Collector is n- Bill. You are not the king of Philly. I'm not going with that. Is NH? I ba- know. Is NH? Fuck battling? all that. NH Ooh. will kill you. Joey's your head will kill you. Uh, uh, I even think Cicero will kill you. I think fucking. Mind you, these guys aren't active. I know that's your that's favorite what I'm, word. That's what I'm saying. That's though. your favorite word lately is uh, active. Okay, so if we're going to talk active, if you rematch K. Walker, I think, and K. Walker's on the lighter side. I don't believe nothing K. Walker. I love K. Walker. <laughs> <laughs> I love K. Walker. Yo. I'm talking, he's like a penmanship when it comes to penmanship. I want to hey, give him yo. his props, especially mm-hmm. as a young black male. Mm. He uh his penmanship is on a whole nother ball game. Um and 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 I could tell he sits home and like literally breaks an opponent down, and I love that when a rapper can do that. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't look at him like I look at like a kaboom okay. or like a a, a Joey Jahad or somebody that came up where I know they get it popping, they get it popping and shit like that. I don't they really crafty, look at though. They crafty. I don't really look at <laughs> K Walker like he really gets it popping, but I love his bars. Yeah, I you know what I'm saying. He's almost like he, you know, there's a couple rappers I feel like that about in the city, but we're going to get to that later. 
Mm. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but that's it here nor there. And you know, and, and you know, guys, I'm not on the street type time. I don't wanna be on that and I'm not we'll never promote that on this podcast. Mm. But at the end of the day, K Walker's on some shit where like I love his bars. Like, like he he caught me with this one bar. And I'll never forget this. I, 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 he said, he said, something I poppy sound like the bus stopping. He oh, said, yeah, I'll pop yeah, his yeah. lung. <laughs> sound like the bus stopping. I was done. I was like, okay, that was one of the hottest bars I've heard in a long time. Yeah, that's hard. Um, but that was crazy. So K Walker, shout out to K Walker. Shout out mm. to all the battle rappers and folks. I had a question. For sure. Mm. Underground wise, mm. give me one or two, or however many you choose, rappers that you fuck with, underground-wise. I want to give them any type of light that I can and fill it up. Just give me one. Uh, Black Mike. Black, my man, Black, Black Mike. Mike. Yeah. Shout out Black, Black Mike. Black Mike is... Shout out Black Mike. He's on the rise, man. Okay. Yeah, sure, man. Black Mike. He's going to be big, bro. That's okay. my guy, too. Okay. He's going to be Shout big. Shout out Black Mike. Uh, if he got Spotify, I'll subscribe to it today. Yeah, he all... He all all over. Check him out, man. Shout out to Black Mike. Facts. Absolutely. Um, now, you said you were from Atlanta. I'm from out here, but... No, no, I'm saying you, you, you said yeah, you, you, yeah. you lived in Atlanta. Yeah. Facts. Okay. Um, who... All right, give me the top two industry people you fuck with from Atlanta. Then we're going to go underground. I like Fujiano. Fujiano? I never heard of that. That's Gucci Man, a new artist. Okay. Ooh, he just signed a 1017. Fire. Shout out to Gucci Man for fire. buying that $5,000 watch. I was looking at it like, damn, <laughs> that's just something crazy. He just bought it today. How much? A lot. Yeah, I'm tripping. <laughs> I said 5000 I meant $5 million. No, yeah. that's what I thought yeah, you yeah, said, $5 said, million. Said $5,000. Yeah. Like, that's nothing to Gucci oh, no, I thought you, no, I thought you said $5 million. Yeah, I'm like, God yeah. damn. No, I, I think I said five. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> I said. Let's shoot a shot to that. Shot I don't know shot, what the bro. fuck I'm saying at this point. <laughs> no, thought, but you know this point in the podcast <laughs> when we just start going. No, I thought you said $5 million, So I'm like, yeah, how much? Yeah, five, five million. million. God damn. $5 million watch. Be only balling. person I know with oh. million dollar watches is Floyd and all Yo, that. But he hold on. Care. Shout out to Gucci because Goo -wop. He, dro Burr. he drops all Ooh. the time. He don't stop. Yo, and shout out to Gucci. Put people on. Hold too. on. I'm not even yes. going to say what Gucci said yeah. because it was it changed my life. If I if if I was a rapper, mm. I would matter of fact, I'm gonna say it anyway, because I want to give y'all the game and I'm gonna tell you what interview to watch. So Gucci said on the Hot 97 um, interview, uh, uh, interview that he had, the last one, literally the last one, so the newest one, probably about three or four months ago, um, he said that every song and album that he put out, he looked at it as an a asset. Mm. So if And that's Jay a lot of assets. Mm. By the and, way. And and because the first thing they asked him is like, you're the first artist to put like a 107 projects out or something dumb like that. Something crazy. crazy. Whatever the crazy, crazy number is. Crazy. He don't stop. So he crazy. said, I might never sell like Jay-Z. I think he used Jay-Z as the example. And he said, I might never sell a million records. But if I can make 10,000 records that sell a thousand, then I made a million. Strengths and numbers, baby. And not only that, I will keep making a million because all my records will keep streaming. Mm. And he's leveraging uh, labels. So it's the same situation. thing as a royalty asset. He's, bro. So he said, I look, I mean, or, or as an asset in general. Mm. So he said, assets appreciate and so does your music. Because mm. what happens is they always keep giving you money. Right. Um, any song you put out there, it might get listened to a thousand times today. Mm. And it might get listened to a thousand times ten years from now. But let me put yeah. that let me put that in perspective for, for artists that aren't Gucci Man. Yeah. And this is what we've been saying, I've been saying. When if you're Gucci Man, if if you're if you're a regular artist that you're not Gucci Man, you're mm. not you don't got crazy fans. Right. If you drop a song a week. Oh, you like the song a week. Bro, <laughs> you're being Gucci Man on a smaller level. All right. Mm. And and you're keeping it going, and the strengths and numbers. I got a question for you. So just get a little deeper into that, because I want people to do this. Yes, also. I do too. I've been telling um, everybody that comes to me. How to do, do you it. want them to do it? Let's break it a little bit more so down. So, so you got to be creative. Now, the ideal Would you way. Want, no, I, I'm, I'm only asking a platform at the moment. Oh, platform on all platforms. Everything. You know, it takes longer than a week for a platform to for them to get the platform. Yeah, for sure. Okay, but, but you I'm can make saying. it happen though. 
But you can make it happen, like, if you're lining it up correctly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, if I do one today... Like, be prepared. Like, yeah. and then four days later, I'm not I, saying I, make I submit it, another I'm one. I'm not saying make it today and drop it on Friday. On, right, right, You know right. what I'm saying? Because like, SoundCloud isn't the best way to go No, it, no, no, no. Point. We were dropping on platforms. We yes, capitalizing platform. off of this shit. Capitalizing. Like, Absolutely. that, and that, same with Gucci. Like, right. Gucci might drop an album yesterday, but... Right. I didn't know, but his core fans, and he's probably building people. So, and- so, so the word that we're using mainly on anything is monetization. Exactly, a and- monetization will get you rich, and passive income is the key to success. And to yeah. me, and to um, me, dropping an album if you're not Gucci doesn't make this. sense. Yeah, absolutely. Because I agree. you could drop an album this year, and then you're gonna have to take another year to drop an album because you take forever. I, and as you should, because it costs money yeah. and at beats and time and writing and all that. Like instead of your album, drop a single a week for the next year. You got or a single a week for the next however. You don't even gotta. Well, so listen, you got. listen, I ain't. I, I'm going to just say, you don't got to take the single a week. Just keep dropping singles. I don't right. care when yeah, it drops. It could be two weeks. It, it could be, be two three weeks. weeks. It could be once a month. But don't bro, drop the fuck. album and waste your fucking we not, songs. Listen, until you sit at a table with, with, with people with millions of dollars, fucking album. Right. As simple as that. Thank unless, you. Unless. Thank you. Unless, unless you got a big fan base. Unless you got a little fan base. And right. and only other way I, I will say that, and I wanted to say this to you last time, is this. There's artists that aren't good at making songs. That are freestyle artists. Yeah. So I want you to that's drop. That's even better. No, no, no. That's not better because they like to use other people's beats. Oh, they well, like that, to, yeah, that's cool. They like to do all the stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. So I'm cool with your mixtape if you're a great freestyle artist. But make a long story short, all we're trying to say is you need to drop every two to but three months. That's cool though. If you're doing that, that's cool, yeah. But I if you're doing that. that, you can use that as a promo to your song. Like you can you you can still like, drop uh, that, like, uh, but and use it as content. I want to give out this key. I don't know if I should, but I don't care. So there's a big artist in Philly right now. He's probably one of the biggest. And what he does is he takes industry beats and slows them down like two BPM. Yeah. Mm. And, re- and, and raps over them. And then the filters don't catch it. And the filters don't catch it. And he yeah. puts it all over. Who is it? I'm not going to say. Uh, we- <laughs> we'll come back to that. I think I know who you're talking about, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, you gotta, but- it, it's the biggest artist in Philly other than Meek Mill right now. So that's all I'm going to say. But regardless, I respect that because he put me on to it. I caught it. I caught the artist. <laughs> but I res- I'm, just, I'm thinking about something else right now. No, but what I'm trying to say is you could put that like yeah. like if like like there's That's still thing. people That's thing. there's still people and and once again he does this and you don't amazing catch the filters. like and and hold on if you everybody's catching this and you catch this like I love it because he did demon freestyle he did fucking. The little baby drone. He did all these drones, and that's all I I don't even bang the little baby version in my car. I bang mm. this person's version in my car. Right. Cause that should be talking to me like on a different level. And that's some outside. I'm like, yo. That's some outside the box shit, check. Once again, mm. we are shooting our shot. Mm. Matter of fact, we running out. Fuck so. all that. I'm saying his name because he shot his shot and he's doing his thing. Shout out to fucking Quilly Mills for fucking shooting your shot and fucking taking these industry oh, beats, I ain't know slowing it's them down. I, said, I, was, I, I thought it was Quilly too. Slowing them down and, and rapping over them. <laughs> I really respect that because you're killing it. He can really rap though. I, th- I Look, thought you were talking like, about that. He can really that. rap though. Bro. He I really thought, rap, though. I ain't even gonna I give him props for really the, rap, but I didn't talk. Like, I thought you were talking about the really baby rap. shark bull, right. but R.I.P. Baby shark bull. Yeah, uh, yeah. Who baby shark bull? You ain't hear that. You ain't hear the John baby shark. The, the, I know exactly what you're But the, they remixed it. I think, and I think bull just got killed. Oh Ooh. no, I'm yeah. not talking about no that, baby shark. Yeah. I'm talking about the, somebody from Philly. That is fucking yeah. killing the game, using other people's beats and putting yeah, them on hard, Spotify. Yeah, he said. Streaming on these niggas' big beats mixtape, they gonna end up suing me. Yeah, what the that, fuck that could y'all will. do to me? They coming at, they coming <laughs> right for that now. bread, Quilly. They coming for that. <laughs> but uh, you killing it, bro. Keep that's doing dope, your though. thing. I would Keep do it. I would have did it. Keep doing your thing. Let, let's right, so shoot a shot. And once again, this is Shoot Your Shot podcast. He is shooting his shot. Academic, mind you, 
Mm. He did it the same thing. So so he up the stock. Like, he up the stock, bro. He's beefing with like Meek Mills right now. <laughs> he used Meek Mills <laughs> shit and slowed it down, and it caught the blogs like say yeah. cheese. Mm. Yeah, I know. Academics mm, yeah. and we love Meek Mill. We love Quilly Mill. All mm -hmm. the same. It's just Philly. We're just talking about. I just want my goal of saying this is telling artists that you can do whatever you want to do to shoot your fucking shot. Yes. And don't be scared. Don't you know be what I'm saying? I'm giving bro. you creative ways. I gave you sex way. Mm -hmm. I gave you music way. I'm giving you mixtape way. You can do it, man. Mm -hmm. You can do it, but you got to do it. You got to do it. Jumbo telling you the song a week. Fuck it. Get an original beat from Jumbo. You don't even got to slow shit down. I don't down. even want you to get my beat. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Who slow beat Slow down you? Drake's beat. I don't give a fuck. Just drop, pussy. <laughs> fuck you mean. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jumbo's fired up. <laughs> hey, shout out to Jumbo being nah, fired up. Man, I just hate people wasting Woo! their music, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot of hide and seek artists, I'm going to call it. And the hide and seek artists. It's not even that. And, and, and that's no disrespect. It's, 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 it's dropping a, a, a project when you got no business dropping a project. Mm. I don't even care. Listen, you know what I'm, I'm saying. I'm gonna switch that narrative, though. I don't care about you dropping a project. Just drop music in general. Like if yeah. you, like for example, somebody can switch your narrative and say I'm gonna drop a, I'm gonna drop a project every week. Yeah, I mean that. If they do that, fine. I mean, but you're being you know, consistent, no, 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 though. But that's what I'm saying. And, and we're not worried about project point, or single. My it's whole just point, drop music. I'm my whole point is consistency. Lot, at the yeah. end of the day. All right. So. I was explaining this to somebody the other day. There's a lot of people with 50 songs. Let me show. just break it down. So I was explaining it the other day. So, all right. So say you got a project that you dropped with, with let's just say, 20 songs on it, right? Right. You could have split it up in two, two projects. You could have split up in 20 projects. <laughs> 20 singles. <laughs> now, yeah. now, you got 20 <laughs> songs, right? And you drop a project, right? So now you got a cover to your project. And, and we're talking about uh, social media, right? Mm -hmm. So... When you drop that project, say you got, let's just say you got 10,000 followers. You drop it one time, how many times can you really promote it? Mm. Not that much, right? You got 20 songs. So if you drop one a week, you can promote that shit every week, each song, and you want to do way better. Yeah, I think the I think the term for that is called static marketing. And what that is, right. and well, what that is, is like... If you're not on, why wouldn't you like do that? Like, for example, I don't have... Uh, Geico Insurance, but I feel like I know flow. Exactly. That's mm. progressive. You That's saying? progressive, but you know the lizard. Progressive, right. Or <laughs> whatever shit, the situation bro. is. I know the lizard. They don't, you don't stop they, seeing that fucking lizard, bro. I know what it's about. And I know they got and you insurance, might not like and it. I might go to it. I mean, you might not like it, and but I might it's not still like there. it, or I might like it, but I know it's but there. If you're there every day, with a, you're there every week and with you a new song. And you know how many people say, yo, I'm going to go to the lizard. But my well, whole I'm thing, gonna go to flow. But you're there every week with a new song. They might not like this song, but they might really fuck with that one song you drop. But if yeah. that was in the middle of your album and they never, no one never ever had it. a chance to listen to it. I got an even better thought process. Like, what, what, why would, like, you fucking up? I got a better even thought process. The, here's the better thought process. Bro, every dream and goal that you want, you have to reverse engineer. So, hypothetically, let's say you wanted to make $10,000 off of Spotify, mm. okay? You, but I don't think people on, are thinking on. like that. I'm a, I, and this one, I'm here to tell them, okay? So, let's just say you wanted to make $10,000 off of Spotify, right? Now, we break it down and say, oh, I need a... Let's just say, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but I know it's like around a, like 100,000, 200,000 views, okay? It's probably about... For how, for how much money? 10,000 or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Mm. No, nah, I don't... I don't think I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to get into way the more specifics. It's way more than that. Uh, let's just say it's a million. It, let's just say it's like three million. Okay, three million. Mm. Okay. Does that so, make sense? No, nah, I think it's a little less than that. But yeah. that's neither here nor there. Yeah. That's not even the goal I'm trying to Let's just say it's over a million. It's a million. Okay, let's just make it real simple. Okay, a million views. Okay. So let's just say you're averaging a thousand views a song. Okay, so if you're averaging a thousand views a song, how many songs would you have to put out to get to a million? 
That's like you put out a hundred. Uh, no, you have to put, put out, out a like thousand. A thousand. Yeah. A thousand lot. songs. A lot of songs. But there's also the this thing called a compound a thousand, theory. A thousand there's views. There's also a thing called shitty. compound marketing. <laughs> but a thousand views is shitty. <laughs> but that's, that's, that, that's on the low end. And I'm not right. worried about that. And we, like, and we already song. talked about marketing. Yeah. So that's a whole other thing. But anyway, so if you're averaging a thousand views for a song, and you want to make a certain amount of money, you want to get to a million. Our math views. might be fucked up. No, no, I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm straight up and down. Uh, you, you you want to get to a thousand? Uh, you want to get to a million views? You do a thousand songs. You're getting a thousand views per song. Okay, now you got a million views total. You don't gotta get a million on one. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to say. Uh, it's, and and you get to my your point. goal. You're proving my point. You get to your goal. But so so you, you will never do that. Make putting an album out though. It don't no that it be as if you don't have fans. All I'm trying to say is whatever your goal is, reverse engineer it. Yeah, right. Yeah. You're, like, okay. so you're and say like for example, if I want to make this is my favorite one to go to. Shout out to uh, Gary V. Um, he yeah. put me onto this and David Meltzer. That he has a similar rhetoric. Mm. Um, how much money do you want to make a year? Most people say, "Oh, I would like to make a hundred thousand. How much money do you have to make a day for you to make a hundred thousand? 90% of people don't know. Yeah. It's $300 a day. Yeah. Some people say, oh, I want to make a million dollars a year. How much money do you have to make a, to make a million dollars a year? These are numbers I know because I've studied this. Mm. $2,700. Easy. Mm. 20, these are numbers that you should know. Yeah. Because wherever your goal is, Setting them goals, you yeah. got to reverse engineer it right. to get mm. where you want to go. So if you want your music, your porn, your... Only fans, your Twitter to hit a million mm -hmm. or hit top 7% or I'm aiming for one. So now I'm on a whole different level. So I need more marketing dollars. Right. So yeah. I know what I need. You Exactly. You're doing your due diligence. Now I know what I need. So now I got to get what I need. Mm. Okay. I, mean, I get I what I need. Then I make it. Then I put that towards what I want. Make it happen. And then now I'm on the path. Of righteousness, for lack of a better word. <laughs> Path of righteousness. <laughs> to where I was trying to go. You know what I'm saying? We were shooting a shot that. to the Path of Righteousness. I and it's been like over an hour. So we getting it popping. Gibby, I, I, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you, bro. Knowledge, too. Gibby, did we, did we, did, Gibby, did we cover everything for you, bro? You got yeah, any questions? Because we went into the, some music shit. Or do you got shit. anything Because we do it. It's a music podcast. Yeah. And when uh, you're the first guest that we had that was on... Because I, I, I had a couple questions for you that we I, ain't I get I do want to say this, though. I, wanna do, I do want to say this, man. It don't matter, you know, what level you're at. You're never too, you know, advanced to learn, bro. Everyone has things they can teach Danger you. Danger key. Never, Big everyone, everyone, key. Everyone has things they can teach you, man. So just soak it in. Be humble, bro. Because I learned some things today, bro, that I'm going to apply to my own brand. Apply to my own oh. brand. You know what I mean? No matter how high you are, it doesn't matter, bro. You can always learn, bro. So I that's appreciate y'all, bro. That's big Real facts, shit, bro. bro. I appreciate that, bro. That's Real big shit, facts. Bro. Shout out to Gibby. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know him, Gibby the Clown go on everything. Check him out. G-I-B-B-Y. He's the craziest. <laughs> He's the craziest <laughs> guy. C-L-O-W-N. Boom. On everything. Everything. And he's bro. a fucking clown too. And, and shout out Say, to nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but shout out Gibby, man. Shout yo, this is the Gibby first too. interview of Gibby. Like, you don't understand. Like, first yo, ever. My bro. man is on some other shit. And look, we're about to get on marketing side. Shout out to Gibby the Clown. Boom. See? Shoot your shot podcast, Jumbo Sound Studios. Your session. No. Book See, your session. That was our marketing clip. Actually, <laughs> I'm crazy booked right now. I'm trying to book <laughs> everybody. And I love y'all. If, if I'm not getting back to you, like, just bear with me, people. <laughs> I'm only one. I need like three, but I'm only one. Shout out to you. That's yo. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we are here. Shoot your shot. Black Lives Matter. Everybody matters. Facts. Uh, be safe. Coronavirus. We're trying to get as many podcasts as we can out. Yeah. Um, we're trying to get as many guests as we can. But Ooh. you know the virus is... The Reckon. whole 2020 shut down. Let's just shut the Fucked whole 2020 up. down. Hopefully we get sports. because We'll talk about that. Hopefully we get more music. 
We'll talk about that. Shout out to Little Baby. Shout out to Pop uh-huh. Smoke. Let's shout shoot out to it. everybody. Shout out to Juice World. Shout out to Juice World album. Shout out to Juice World album. We'll get Pop into that. Pop Smoke now. album. Next all podcast. that. We're going to listen to that shit. It just dropped today. You know Hold what I'm on. Saying? I just want to say one more thing. It's a little topic. But I just want to touch as I'm closing. Yo, we ain't done the bottle, so we can keep it moving. Yo, did anybody see that Will and Jada interview? about all this So many season? memes. So I did not, memes. but I've heard things. So many Yo. <laughs> I've heard things. Like he popped off on. They gave me that swinger vibe, man. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I heard. Oh, God. So, 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 Jada Pinkett said. That's crazy. <laughs> I had a entanglement with August Alcina. Just got some dick, man. Keep it real. Entanglement. And that's the word of the day. It's the most viral word in America at the moment. Entanglement. Is it even real? I had that's an entanglement word? with August Alcina. She said it like two or three times. That's a real word? Listen. I guess. <laughs> it's a real word if Jada said it. Yeah. Shit. It's a lot of sh- weird shit. But y'all, I will say, it's a lot of that weird red, red table talk made me want a, a wife. The red table talk is... is, is Yo, is I can't though. lie. Like... Oh my God, Will and Jada are like the cutest. Yo, they mm. pounded it out at the end and said, uh, uh, worst marriage forever, like bad boys for life. Oh, that's worst lit. marriage forever. You know, Will pop. It was so Will, like, sad. Will, Will like, must be popping cute. everything in life. <laughs> Yo, but that's what they were talking about. Will fucked everything. Jada, I'm going to assume. Jada went August. I'm going to, yeah. I, don't, I would rather you go Trey Songz pause than August. Yeah, great rollout, or August. Or like Chris Brown. But yeah, August great is trying to get... Great rollout, man. But it didn't happen August. five years ago, so I noticed the August rollout. Shout out to like August. August, August, though. August new album is out too, by the way. It's out? It's hard, yeah. It's like 27. He started getting momentum again. He, yeah. he gave him 27. Went against my fucking situation. Well, uh, yo, August is, used mm. to be fire. He gave him 27 though, bro. August should have dropped like f- five albums. 27 records? Yes. He should have dropped five of them joints month, month, month. Oh, I didn't really know. I, I was just joking by saying it was part of his rollout. So that no, was really out. part of his rollout. That his, had shit to be, is, right? his shit just came out, bro. Wow. Great rollout. That's couple, one of the couple best weeks, ones. Couple, couple, couple weeks ago. Well, I will say he executed it yeah. perfect because this is the number one word on Twitter right now is entanglement because <laughs> Jada Pinkett talking about... T- she told her husband, Will Smith... I had an entanglement. Sorry, I had an entanglement <laughs> with fucking August Alcina. Hey, I don't know what that hey, means. Hey, Gibby, next Michael, team. Michael, mm. it's an entanglement. It's an definitely entanglement. entanglement. <laughs> Let's get it. Listen, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta fuck a hot milf and say entanglement. Hashtag, that's it. Hey, 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 Let's take a, a shot, shot to that, man. Shoot your fucking shot, hey, man. Hey, Shout hey, out to Gibby the Clown. Shout out to Gibby. This my guy. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Grandmas, moms. And I show everybody Get love with me, man. that showed us love for the gang. It shoot your me. fucking shot, man. You are man. family from here on out. Thanks. Anything you need from me and or Jumbo, it's my pleasure. Of course. It's my pleasure. I appreciate, appreciate you for that. Being for real. On. Listen, the first interview you. of Gibby the Clown, bro. Like, exclusive you about here. to figure. You about to, you about I'm to... letting y'all know if if y'all listen to anything I say, he should be, and if he isn't, one of the top porn star on Number the one in the star. world, man. Like, oh. sign. It's the most interesting. Everybody else is basic cable. Let me, let me, let me, <laughs> hold on. Let me, let me, let me ask you something. Is if somebody was to sign you tomorrow, like, would you do it? Like, like a well, big John. This is, nah, I mean, or do, should you do it? I don't know the porn I mean, game. As far as what, what I got going on, like I said, everybody is different. But as far as what I got going on, everything they, they can offer me, I can do myself. At this yeah. point, you know what I mean? So they got to give you the bag. Even you, if it takes me a little longer. You and your jumbo still, shit. I can literally get, I can uh, get if there. If Adam and Eve what if they get, what if they, what if they, yo, on. Hand you, <laughs> hey, you a, a mil, you got to take yeah, it, bro. Hey, give me, if they, if they, yeah, if they give you the 10 mil, what you doing? 10 mil, you yeah. definitely got to take it. If the number right, yeah. But I mean, right. as far as like. Give my man a 10 mil and stop playing with him. Give him. I don't got Yo, I know what them porn's contract look like. Hey. He definitely need a mill for three years. That's, mil, that's 275 a year. Yeah, all he that. need 275 a year. It's a good he, phrase, man. He the only clown change, out here so fucking these bitches. Sign change. I don't got Big chump change. Sign so accepting chump change. And once again, labels and, and porn companies, y'all know the numbers. He, he going to do 
at least three, four hundred thousand, especially with y'all bag behind him. Easy. He probably gonna do a million a, 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 a whop. So he said easy. Um, uh, he gonna do a million a whop. So a million a whop is eight thousand. Y'all do five, four seasons a month. Eight thousand, right. and you, and you y'all know the y'all, y'all put, know the math yeah. there. Y'all and you put the it? bad bitch in front of him. Y'all it's going the double, and no, and, and it's going double. You put a you put a you put a star in front of him, and oh, that's right. where the label co- and that's where the that's where the contract company comes into play because they're gonna get the Tiana Trump in front of you. Yeah, oh, right. that's what I'm saying. Tiana in front of you, it's going to blow the fuck it? up. They gonna direct, put lead, me lead me, in the plug I and you and Adam together. What you want to do? What you want to do, Gibby? I want to direct my own shit. Y'all film it. Y'all put the play together. Let me direct my own shit, bro. Cause I, that's how I like to move, man. I like my own creative, man. Uh. Get with me, man. Yeah. Get with him, man. Get with me, Stop man. Stop playing. <laughs> Give me the clown. Checkmate TV and Jumbo Sounds. We out of here. Well, Holla at your boys. Thumbnail right here. Put your, two, put your shit up, Jump. Shoot your fucking shot. Shoot your shot. Yeah. Woo. It's a wrap. Let's go.